President Joe Biden has signed an executive order aimed at reforming police policing practices, and it comes as the nation marks two years since black man George Floyd was killed when a police officer knelt on his neck for nearly nine minutes. Washington says most of the executive order is focused on federal law enforcement agencies, requiring them to review and revise policies on use of force. It would also create a database to help track officer misconduct. Biden had been pushing Congress to pass more police reform legislation, but after the legislation failed to garner bipartisan support, the White House decided to craft its own action last year. This intersection, a few miles from downtown Minneapolis, is a continually evolving memorial to George Floyd. The paint that marks the spot where Floyd was killed is now flaking, but the impact of his death here continues to reverberate across the U.S. His aunt, Angela Harrelson, is a frequent visitor. I don't know how to describe it. It's an energy that you feel here. So, and sometimes it can be quite emotional. Two years ago, a white Minneapolis police officer, Derek Chauvin, knelt on Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes. A bystander recorded it on a cell phone. The footage went viral, prompting global outrage and protests. The consequences continue to play out. Chauvin was found guilty at a Minnesota state trial last year and sentenced to 22 and a half years in prison. Separately, he faces the potential for decades more following his guilty plea to federal charges he violated Floyd's civil rights. The three other police officers at the scene were also found guilty of violating Floyd's civil rights and await sentencing. And they face charges of aiding and abetting Floyd's murder in another trial set to open in June. That's something I feel good about, that, that we are not messing around and that we are holding these people accountable. Billy Jones was among those to witness the event. He now runs a coffee shop overlooking the square. I'm just happy um, in the technology that we have. It's not that there's nothing new, it's just that we have technology to, to visualize um, what's happening right now. This intersection serves as a poignant reminder to the tragic chain of events that took place here two years ago. But despite some reforms and changes to policing in the city, some community groups say those measures have as yet not gone far enough. The George Floyd Justice in Policing Act, federal legislation that aims to change the way policing is performed, stalled in the US Senate. This, as a report by the Minnesota Department of Human Rights, found Minneapolis police have engaged in a pattern or practice of racial discrimination going back at least a decade. The truth is there were facts that racism exists in the police force and how the police purposely would seek out brown and black people. What they need to do now is come up with a team and start putting things in order. Events here shook the world, but the process of bringing genuine change is a fight that continues. Dan Williams, CGTN, Minneapolis.